Welcome to this Google Drive screencast where we're looking at collaborating with students. In this particular screencast we're going to take a look at Google Slides or Google Presentation. So here I am in Google Drive. I'm going to make a new type of file. I'm going to go to Create and choose Presentation. This is also called Slides, so Presentation and Slides terms are used interchangeably. So this looks very much like Keynote or PowerPoint. I start off with being uh, asked to choose a theme. So we'll go ahead and choose a dark gradient theme. Click OK. You can always change your theme later if you don't like it. So here I am in Google Slides or Google Presentation. Let's name this. We're going to call this Smith uh, all about Google Slides and hit OK. So Slides works very much like PowerPoint does. I can click in these title boxes to add some text. If I want to add a new slide, I come over to this big red plus button. I could click the plus, or this little tiny arrow next to the plus allows me to choose what type of slide I want to add. If I were to choose title and body, it gives me a title box followed by a body box here. Uh, when typing in the box, I get very similar text formatting choices. If I wanted to bullet point or number, whatever I was putting on my slides, I could do that. Uh, when I'm on the main slide, I can change if I don't like the background color, I could click on background and choose a totally different color. So there I would choose red. If I want to reset back to what my choice originally was, I can hit reset. I can apply that to all my slides. Um, there's a choice for layout for this particular slide that I'm on. I could change that there. If I wanted to go back and change the theme, uh, I could change to one of the preset themes that are here in Google Slides. And transitions, you can add transitions that occur between the slides by clicking transitions. I can get a box that opens up over on the side here and choose to have a transition, maybe a fade from one to the other uh, when it goes through the slides. So all similar choices to, um, to Google or to uh, PowerPoint and Keynote. One of the reasons I personally love using Google Slides is if I'm working in the Chrome browser and I've got some pictures off in a folder somewhere or on my desktop, I can actually drag these right onto the slide from my desktop. And you'll see there, here come the pictures that I've been dragging in. So great feature there. Another feature I love is the ability under the insert menu to choose to insert a video. And actually, I've got a video open here. Let me go ahead and copy by doing Command-C. I'm going to copy the web address for where this video is, the YouTube link. If I go back on this slide, I can go to Insert, Video. And I could search YouTube. So if I wanted to do, add a, a video about Google presentations, I could hit Search. And actually, some videos do come up. I could actually click and hit Select and put that right onto my slide. Or, if I had another slide here, if I had a specific video that wasn't coming up in my search, I could do insert video by URL, and this is where I would paste that link that I had to the video that I'd already found over on YouTube. So what this does is this embeds the video into the presentation, and because Google Presentations or Google Slides is all online, when somebody's looking at these slides, they just click the play button and it just plays as long as you have an active internet connection. So great, quick, and easy to add a video in that relates to your topic. As a teacher, you might add a bunch of slides, and you could then go in to the share area, and you could either share this directly to your students, or you could set it to anyone with the link can edit, maybe get that link out to your students. And then when they come into the presentation, maybe you're creating something around a certain subject and you say that each student has a certain number of slide, the kids can all come in and add their content to their slide. So just a great way to open the doors of collaboration when using Google presentations. If you wanted to present, that's what the present button up here is for. If I click present, that will actually take me into full screen mode and show what's on the slide. I'm going to exit out of that there and exit full screen mode as well. So you get different choices with that. So Google Presentation, great collaboration tool, building project with your peers or building projects with students. Thanks so much for watching.